Breaking news about Social Security, SSI, and disability benefits always captures attention, especially when it directly impacts the financial well-being of millions of seniors, disabled individuals, and struggling families. Today, we're diving into a crucial update that has sparked interest and concerns across the nation, the potential for a massive $5,100 monthly boost in benefits. If you or someone you love relies on Social Security benefits, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, or disability payments, you'll want to stay tuned to learn what this means for you. This is the kind of news that can bring hope, clarity, and even life-changing opportunities for those who depend on these programs to make ends meet. First, let's address what's fueling this buzz about a $5,100 monthly boost. There have been significant discussions in Congress, policy proposals from advocacy groups, and ongoing conversations about the inadequacy of current benefit levels. Many seniors and disabled individuals have expressed that their benefits are no longer sufficient to keep up with inflation, skyrocketing healthcare costs, housing expenses, and the overall rising cost of living. Policymakers are finally paying attention to these concerns, and reforms are being considered that could drastically change the landscape of Social Security and related programs. Although we're not talking about a lump sum being handed out all at once, the projected improvements could translate into a substantial increase in monthly payouts, potentially giving recipients up to $5,100 per month depending on their specific circumstances. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is driving this potential increase? At the heart of the discussion is the Annual Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA, which is designed to ensure that Social Security benefits keep pace with inflation. For 2023, the COLA was already one of the largest in decades, reflecting the economic pressures Americans have been facing. Experts are now projecting that future COLAs could lead to even more substantial increases, particularly as inflation continues to affect the everyday lives of seniors and disabled individuals. But that's not all there's also talk of overhauling the Social Security formula itself to better account for the actual costs faced by beneficiaries, such as out-of-pocket medical expenses and housing. This would represent a historic shift in how benefits are calculated and distributed. Another key factor contributing to these changes is the renewed push for equity and fairness in the system. For years, advocates have pointed out that the current structure disproportionately disadvantages women, minorities, and low-income beneficiaries who may have spent fewer years in the workforce due to caregiving responsibilities or systemic barriers. Proposals now on the table aim to address these disparities by increasing the minimum benefit, offering caregiver credits, and expanding eligibility criteria. These reforms could result in significant increases for some of the program's most vulnerable recipients, pushing their monthly benefits closer to the $5,100 mark. But what does this mean for disabled individuals? Disability benefits, often referred to as SSDI, are also under scrutiny. The process for qualifying for disability benefits is notoriously complicated, and the amount recipients receive can vary significantly depending on their work history. Proposed reforms include streamlining the application process and ensuring that disability benefits are on par with other social security payments. If these changes are implemented, it could mean a major financial boost for disabled Americans who have struggled to make ends meet under the current system. Imagine the relief of knowing that your monthly payments are finally enough to cover not just the basics but also unforeseen expenses or even a modest emergency fund. For SSI recipients, the news is equally promising. Supplemental security income is designed to assist those who have little to no income, including seniors, disabled adults, and children. However, the maximum SSI payment has long been criticized for being far below the poverty line. Legislators are now considering raising the SSI federal benefit rate significantly, which could bring recipients closer to that $5,100 monthly figure. Additionally, there's been a push to update the rules around resource limits and income thresholds, allowing more people to qualify for this crucial program without being penalized for having minimal savings or earning small amounts of additional income. It's also worth noting that these potential increases are not just about numbers on a check they're about dignity and quality of life. For many seniors and disabled individuals, every dollar counts when it comes to covering medications, utilities, groceries, and other essentials. A significant boost in monthly benefits could mean the difference between financial insecurity and stability, between constant worry and peace of mind. 
Beyond the immediate financial impact, these changes could also stimulate local economies as beneficiaries spend their increased income on goods and services in their communities. While this news is undoubtedly exciting, it's important to approach it with a sense of cautious optimism. Any changes to Social Security, SSI, or disability benefits require legislative approval, and the path to reform can be slow and contentious. There are also debates about how to fund these increases, with some proposing adjustments to the payroll tax cap, while others suggest tapping into alternative revenue sources. Regardless of the funding mechanism, the conversation signals a growing recognition of the need to strengthen these programs for current and future generations. For those wondering how they can stay informed and take action, the best advice is to stay engaged. Follow reputable news sources, reach out to your elected representatives, and join advocacy groups that are pushing for these much needed reforms. By raising your voice and sharing your story, you can help ensure that the needs of seniors, disabled individuals, and low income families remain at the forefront of the national conversation. If these proposed changes come to fruition, they could mark a turning point in the fight against poverty among seniors and the disabled. Imagine a world where Social Security, SSI, and disability benefits are no longer just a lifeline but a pathway to a more secure and fulfilling life. That's the vision driving this push for reform, and it's why this story matters so much. So, as you process this exciting update, remember that the fight for stronger benefits is far from over. Stay hopeful, stay informed, and most importantly, stay connected to your community. Together, we can ensure a brighter future for all who rely on these essential programs. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and share this video to spread the word about this crucial issue. One of the driving forces behind these conversations is the unprecedented economic challenges Americans are facing today. Inflation has surged to levels not seen in decades, eroding the purchasing power of social security checks. For seniors on fixed incomes, this has led to impossible choices. Do they cut back on medications to pay for rent, or skip meals to cover their utility bills? The proposed changes, including significant boosts in monthly payouts, are designed to address this grim reality. By tying benefits more closely to real-world costs, policymakers aim to not only help beneficiaries cover their basic needs but also allow them to regain some of the financial independence they've lost over the years. What's also worth noting is how these potential reforms could create ripple effects throughout society. When seniors and disabled individuals have more money in their pockets, they're better able to contribute to their local economies. They can shop at neighborhood stores, support small businesses, and invest in services that enrich their lives, from home care to community programs. These economic benefits extend far beyond individual recipients, creating a positive cycle of growth and stability. In essence, a boost in Social Security, SSI, and disability benefits doesn't just help the recipients it helps everyone. But let's not overlook the human aspect of these changes. Behind every statistic is a real person, often someone who has spent years working hard, raising a family, or overcoming significant physical or mental challenges. Take, for instance, a retired senior who worked a minimum wage job for decades, only to find that their social security check barely covers their rent. Or consider a disabled individual who relies on SSI to survive but constantly struggles to make ends meet because their benefits haven't been adjusted to reflect modern costs. A $5,100 monthly boost could be life-changing for these individuals, providing them with not just financial security but also the dignity and peace of mind they deserve. Another critical aspect of this discussion is healthcare. For many seniors and disabled individuals, a significant portion of their income goes toward medical bills, prescription medications, and long-term care. Even with programs like Medicare and Medicaid, out-of-pocket costs can be overwhelming. A boost in monthly benefits could provide much-needed relief, enabling beneficiaries to prioritize their health without worrying about falling into debt. Imagine being able to afford that medication you've been skipping or finally scheduling that doctor's appointment you've been putting off because of the cost. For many, these changes could mean the difference between surviving and truly living. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. Together, we can ensure that these crucial programs are strengthened and expanded to serve everyone who depends on them. Stay hopeful, stay informed, and stay engaged. Change is on the horizon, and with your support, we can make it a reality. Until next time.